Good evening, everybody. It's Sunday the 13th of February. This isn't my uh, normal welcome intro, but uh, that will be coming up uh, in a second. Uh, I um, did my first wild camp yesterday at Shavacombe Falls on Dartmoor. It didn't quite go to plan and I wasn't going to put this video out but two reasons I, I want to put it out are one to praise the uh, the work of the Dartmoor search and rescue team and also for any new wild campers who are, are thinking about um, doing wild camping uh, this might be a lesson uh, in what not to do so have a look and uh, I'll come back to you at the end thanks hello everybody welcome back thanks for tuning in and I've just uh, ducked into uh, Ditsworthy Warren House just to get out the wind a bit but uh, big day today first wild camp and it's been a long time in the uh, planning long time uh, getting the gear together but uh, we're on our way and uh, we're in for some uh, pretty grim weather it's uh, the winds getting up quite strong at the moment and we're uh, in for some heavy rain tonight and overnight but uh, what better way to start your uh, first wild camp this is Trez Treggs of videos ago I did a walk across to Ditsworthy Warren and I wanted to have a look at Shavacombe Falls but um, needed to get over the river Plymouth it was running really high so it was uh, difficult to uh, get across but uh, today we are well we're across the river Plymouth <laughs> and uh, we've just arrived at uh, Shavacombe Brook which is uh, uh, easy to cross. We're just going to follow the uh, brook up to uh, to Shavacombe Falls and uh, see if we can uh, pitch around uh, around there somewhere. Probably unlikely at the falls, but um, we're going to have a look at uh, Shavacombe Tor. See if we can uh, we can set up camp there. But um, yeah, so we're on our way. We're getting there. We'll bring you back in a bit. So we're uh, heading up alongside Shavacombe Brook. Shavacombe Tor, just up there, so just in that valley is uh, Shavacombe Falls somewhere. Big, definitely too big for a uh, sheep, but I think it's probably a pony, a large pony. Oh, it's a bit ominous. Poor thing.
quite pretty. A lovely little oasis. As you can see, it's uh, steep sided on all sides. That's quite hard to find. But uh, that's lovely. Shame there isn't anywhere really flat enough to pitch here, but um, yeah, it's quite uneven. The slope as well. It was a place just a little bit further downstream which look quite suitable or we'll have a look at the tour we shall see so we've been up to uh, the tour and um, not a real lot of options there to, uh, to pitch it's not a huge tour um, a lot of the rocks are just scattered about and uh, it's quite quite slopey and it's very exposed so we're right in the valley here right next to the brook and we've got a little area here which i think we uh we might be able to do and it's uh, a little bit sheltered it's just started to rain we're expecting heavy rain quite strong winds so uh Hopefully it won't flood. <laughs> so we'll see. There we are, all pitched. Not an ideal uh, area to pitch. It's, not, uh, it's a bit long here, a bit stony. <laughs> but um, it started tipping down the rain and uh, so yeah, I've made the decision. And uh, So uh, we've gone for a bit of an early one, but uh, not to worry, I don't think we're going to see uh, many people about it, to be honest. So let's get in, get uh, unpacked, get settled, get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Pretty much done packed now and um, it's all good. It was a bit of a job uh, keeping the inside dry, but um, only because I was so wet. But um, we're drying off a bit now, so that's good. Got some water and um, we're just about to uh, put the kettle on. So um, we've got the, uh, gone for the nature hike stove. It was a lovely little stove. Really impressed with it. Cheap as chips and um, yeah, it does a really good job. Tested it out at home, so uh, just open these little legs up. There we are, We've got an ignition on there as well, so um, we're all ready to go, so we're going to put the kettle on and make a well-earned brew. So it's still raining, it hasn't stopped raining, but um, 
seems to be all holding up all right so I'm quite happy uh, it's getting a little bit gloomy now it's not cold though it's um, certainly not freezing uh, there's, the wind's quite chilly but um, I think it's about uh, seven degrees I expect that will uh, drop uh, a little bit but uh, just about to have my tea and I've gone for the easy option which is the Wayfarers chicken tikka and rice followed by chocolate pudding and I wash that down with a little bottle of vino <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having that now so we'll uh, we'll bring you back a bit later when that's done and um, I'll take you through the kit So I've had my uh, tea, can highly recommend the chicken tikka and rice. I haven't had my chocolate pudding yet, so I might have that in a bit. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's got quite a bit colder now. It's about six degrees, it's not freezing. And I'm not really uh, that cold, it's chilly, but um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, nice and, I'm nice and warm in the moment. It's still raining and the wind's picking up a bit now. It's, uh, well, they reckon 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts, but uh, it all seems to be holding out okay. The tent seems to be okay. I don't think I'm gonna go outside and have a look. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've decided I'll do, uh, I'll show you through the kit in the morning once I've tried it. So uh, I can let you know uh, what it's like. So we'll do that in the morning before we, uh, we pack up. And uh, I think I'll have myself a hot drink in a minute. And uh, unless, unless anything else happens, the river's actually sounding quite, uh, quite fierce now. Unless I get washed away. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Night night. Problem. I'm uh, swimming in water and uh, on my first wild camp what a stupid thing to do to uh, pitch next to a, a brook in bad weather it's absolutely swimming in water so uh, I am now awaiting uh, rescue and um, yeah, I can't, uh, it's pretty precarious actually, but um, we've got some excitement at least. <laughs> um, no, it's no laughing matter really, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty precarious, but anyway, we'll, um, we'll wait for them to ring back and uh, Keep you posted. Hi everyone. Uh, it's now one o'clock in the morning. I'm uh, holed up in the tent still. The water is uh, running down underneath the tent and either side of the tent. Uh, it's not actually penetrated the tent <laughs> yet. Um, it says a lot for. Uh, the nature hike cloud pig twos but uh it's uh precarious still 
and uh, worrying that um, so much that Dartmoor Rescue are deploying a team out to uh, to give me a hand, um, which I am, you know, eternally grateful for. Where would we be without these guys? Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, first wild camp. Didn't turn out very well, did it? Uh, due to my own stupidity, really. I was pitching next to a, a brook, knowing that the weather was going to be bad, and a huge lesson learned. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Yep, so there we are. Um, and my most profound thanks again to those four amazing guys from Dartmoor Search and Rescue. The two Johns, Andy and Alex, who got me uh, safely back to, uh, to Gutter Tour and to my car. Uh, amazing guys, uh, doing an amazing job. Unbelievable. And... Yeah, I'm very, I was very lucky. Um, there were a lot of things that happened during the day. I um, I mentioned that about flooding. I didn't expect the weather to come in as bad as it did. There wasn't any weather warning. And I didn't plan to pitch at uh, by the brook at Shavakam. Falls. I planned to pitch at the tour, which didn't seem very suitable, but I should have gone a bit further afield. But I knew the weather was going to come in um, quite quickly, and I'd seen that area as I was walking up to the falls. And the brook at that time, you might have noticed in the video was nothing more than a trickle. Um, it just shows how quickly uh, these things can change. And it turns out I, I made a bad call. But I was advised to climb up to higher ground not by Dartmoor Search and Rescue, by somebody else. And um, I'm actually glad I didn't take that advice because I think I would have been in serious uh, bother um, because my coats were out in the porch areas, which were completely flooded. They were soaking wet. Um, it was quite a cold wind blowing and raining um, and I would have been up there for some some considerable time and uh, it turns out that I made the right decision to stay in the tent um, so that was that was good and also when I crossed the River Plym on the video, you might have noticed that it was it was just running quite quite normally. When I crossed, it was barely over my ankles. When I was picked up and we were on our way back, we we had to cross the Plym again, and it was way over our knees, almost up to our thigh. Um, so it just shows you again how uh, how quickly these things can change. But if there is any new wild campers that are looking to start wild camping, I don't, don't want you to uh, this video to, to put you off. It's an amazing thing to do. But just be aware of the uh, the safety and um, do your research. 
Um, and yeah, uh, I you know I can't wait to uh, to get back out there again. I did have to uh, ditch the leave no trace policy, sadly. Um, there was a, a window which Dartmoor Search and Rescue knew about. There was going to be a break in the weather, a very short break um, of about an hour. So when they arrived, we needed to act quite quickly. Um, so the decision was made to uh, abandon the tent and my sleeping system where it was. There is a a note in there which Dartmoor Search and Rescue gave me which has the police incident number written on it and that um, the tent would be retrieved by myself as soon as I can, if it's still there. <laughs> uh, we shall see. So if there are any uh, Dartmoor wild campers that are uh, around that area, and if you see the tent by uh, Shavakum Brook, uh, if you could let me know if it's still there, I'd be grateful. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there we are. Um, big lessons learned. But uh, the main thing is we uh, we're all okay. So thank you for uh, for watching. Um, uh, I will be seeing you again all so very soon. Um, and I hope you're all well and I hope you all stay safe. Thanks again.